Understand? Dạ, bây giờ nhóm mình nhút cụ Xong Nhút Are we? Yeah. Give me one second, please. Now, I've got a question. Did everyone watch the videos? Yes. Yes. Good. Did you enjoy them? Weren't they fantastic? Yes. I really enjoyed those videos. They were so much fun. We'll see. So I'm just going to share. I'm just trying to find the material for today's. Uh-oh. Uh oh, hang on. Okay. Can everybody see what I've pasted in the chat? Yes. yes. It looks beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, all right. We're going to do something like this. Control C. And control V, V. Okay, so we're going to create these uh, illusionary um, drawings. Okay, so let me turn on my camera so I can see everybody. Hello, everyone. Wait, wait. Hi, teacher. Hey, how's everybody going? Uh, at the Hey guys, how Hi, are you? Vicky. I haven't okay. seen you guys. Hi, hey, hey Jill. Nice to see you. Hi, Bye. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Good evening. I'm so happy to see you. Hello. Okay. So is everybody ready? So everybody. Everybody got the message about what they needed to uh, provide today? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes. No? Okay. So now, oh, my God. 
today we are going to just very, very briefly, oh, where did my Zoom go? We're going to very, very briefly talk about the art elements and we're going to continue to do our project. All right, so I want everyone to grab just a normal piece of paper. Can I go to get my paper now? Just like a this, a normal piece of a paper. Or a four picture. A four. A four. Here. Look I'm at my hand. Do you see my hand? A four. If I show you A three, it's much much bigger. Let me show you what A three looks like. This is A three. Look at my hand now. You see? Ah, Can you so see small. the difference? This is A3, and this is A4. Uh, Got it? So I want A4. So basically, I know that most of you have got this, but it's been a while. I haven't seen you guys in a while, so I don't know whether you still have this information. I want you to take this piece of paper, right? And I want you to fold it down. Should I say in half, long ways. Make sure you have it as portrait. Okay, I need to get this. Okay, so we're folding this piece of paper in half. And then we're folding it again. And then we're folding it again. All right, how many how many lines do you think I've got now? Who can guess? Teacher. Who's um, good at math? I cannot see how you fold the paper. We have uh, to put me on speaker. So where it says view in the top right hand corner. I cannot find corner. my paper. Well, you need to have paper. This is an art class, my darling. You need paper. We're going to draw. So now I'm going to open it. You mean this one? Yes. Okay. No, that's not the one I want, darling Alice. No, no, no. That's oh, that's interesting. Did you make that? That's gorgeous. Yes, I made. All right, so we need a blank piece of paper and we're going to, I'm going to show you again, we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to fold it in half again. That's two and then three. Three times I'm going to fold it in half. Does everybody understand? Yeah. Everybody got that? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, it's very I'm easy. a little bit hard because I just use an... Um, Take a tree and I cut it. Uh -huh. All right. So, so, so you don't need to cut anything. We're just folding now. And how many lines do we have here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many elements do we have? How many eight. elements do we have? Who remembers? Eight. No. Eight. No, not eight, one less. Seven. Yeah, good. So, MC Aslan is the co host now. Let's do some. Let's do some. All right. So, the oh. first thing I'm going to do has, has everybody got a ruler? Has everybody got a ruler? Yes, yeah, about uh, about five centimeters in. I want you to draw a dot from the edge. Make sure that you put it on zero. Put a dot where it says five centimeters. One up there and one down the bottom here, where it says five centimeters. And then I want you to draw a line downwards. Okay, so from the second from the first line. So 
one goes across like this because we don't want to separate the top. The top is going to be for the title. So here I'm going to say art. I'm going to write this in, in marker because I know that you probably can't see that. So let me start again. It says here art. I not see. Yes. Art. Can you see now? Mm -mm. Teacher, I cannot Can see you that. see now? You no. have to put me on speaker, darling. Try, try me. You have to put me on speaker. So go where it says view at the top. At the top on this side, on this side, it says yeah. view. Okay. Um, it says view yeah. and then it says you spot my Vicky is um, folding the paper. Uh, Dorothy, can you? Yes, I'm here. Can, I spot... can you spotlight her as? And can you please help Tra? Can you? Oh, can you please help Tra? She can't see me, and I'm telling her to put view and then gallery. Can you please explain that to her? Um, I spotlight the um, the painting. Folding, otherwise, very small. Okay. Yes. I so you're not spotlight you're not spotlighted me. Becca. Yeah, you want spotlight you or both no, of only you? Only the painting. Yeah. I got only my painting. Parents. Yes, it's only the painting. Can you please, Dorothy? Can you please tell Tra me that she needs to put me on speaker, not gallery? Oh yeah. You have from your screen. You have to change it to um to speaker the view. I, you want me to change it to speaker like this? No, no, no. I mean, they, they, then that's summer. what I'm saying to you. I'm yeah. trying to explain to her that she needs to put it for speaker. But she yeah, I, 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 I do the, um, the screenshot and then I pass into yellow, okay? Yeah. Just tell her, explain to her that she needs to press on view and then speaker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she can understand English well. So you just tell her it's fine. Oh, she said she did that. What about Tra Me? Did you do that? Can everybody yes. see? Can everybody see how I'm wiggling my fingers? Can you see that last? I yes. Yes, I do. Yeah? Okay. Yes, I do. All right. yes. All right. So I'm going to continue. It says here art elements. E L E Now, I know that we've talked about art elements, but we are going to take this a little bit further, okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do here today is line. So everybody put the word line here, line. Okay, we're going to do a nice little activity for today with line. Then it's picky. You've all finished with line? Yes. Now the next thing I want you to do is colour. All right. And then the next one is going to be shape. And then the next one is going to be value and form value and form are going to go together all right we're going to do value and form together so i want you to put value and then form one after the other form so don't worry about that sorry i made a mistake here value and then form and then we go to space one who remembers the last one What's missing here? Yes, Ann. Yes. You got your hand up? I can't hear you, Ann. Put it in the chat, darling. I can't hear you. There's something wrong with your speaker, I think, or your microphone, should I say. No, pattern is a principle. It's just awesome. What? Miss Vicky, I can't see. Sorry. 
Miss Vicky, I can't see. You can't see here? Who's that? Who's talking to me? Shay. Shay, darling, you have to put me on, not a gallery, you have to put me on speaker. So where it says view in the top right corner, can you see where it says view? Mm -hmm. You got to press on that and then press speaker, not gallery. Thank you, I see it now. Oh, good girl. Okay, I'm glad. All right, the last one is texture, my little darlings. Remember we did texture? Now, I know that a lot of the older students, the students that did the first 10 weeks of art, I know that they already know this, all right? But we have some new students here today. So I want you, let me just bring this a little bit lower so that you guys can see. All right, maybe a little bit closer. All right, so the first thing you need to write is art elements, right? And this is what we're going to do for the next 10 weeks. We're going to look at art elements and principles. Principles a little bit later, but we're going to start with art elements. All right, art elements. And then there's line, colour. And then there's shape. And then there's value. And then there's form, <clears throat> space, <clears throat> and then texture. Okay, and we're going to do some other things as well. I don't know if you've seen the curriculum for this part two of the lesson. Has everyone has anyone seen the program for the next 10 weeks? Has anyone seen the pictures? Did Dorothy send you the pictures? No. no. Oh. Yes, I did. No. What picture? Are you? I did send in yellow. You mean this one, uh, Vicky? Yeah, I'm talking about these. Th this curriculum. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. The PDF so guys, here I've yeah. got all the pictures that we're going to do. Okay. We've got all the pictures and all the photocopies so your parents can go and take all the photocopies that we need. We're going to do a completely different program, okay? We're not going to repeat the things that we did in part one. Now, for those students, welcome, by the way, our new students. Our new students are just participating in this day just to get a feel for how we do things, okay? And you guys are going to then jump on to the part one of the art program. All right, now I want everybody to have a look where it says line because line is what we're doing today. Now, we've got a lot of different ways to express line. Hi, hey, teacher. A lot of different ways to express line. Um, now, does somebody want to say something? Hi, hey, teacher. Yes, Bob. Today, today, do we need any handouts? To our parents will print yes i did ask you to have one handout let me just see if i can put it up let me just see if i can put it up the one handout give me one second i'm just going to take a, a screenshot <clears throat> you mean the light lies nice the photo It's not the best quality, but it will do the job. Come on. Internet's a little bit slow. Okay, guys, have a look. Everybody have a look at the chat and have a look at these, this photocopy that everybody had to 
print out today. No, nah, I didn't do it. I sent it to Bon. Give me one second. Let me just send it to everybody again. Hi. Our internet is very slow today. Why? Photocopy Yep. I forget to photocopy you. Send. Okay. Yeah. Show me what you've photocopied. Let me see. I forget. I don't photocopy. Oh, you didn't photocopy? No, I forget. Oh, Doesn't matter. Everybody can have a look at this photocopy that I have in the chat. Can everybody see all these beautiful different lines? Uh, yeah. Yes. I want everyone uh -huh. to draw, to take some of these ideas and draw some of them here, but only in this section. Okay, only in this section. So take some of these ideas. For example, I'm going to do straight lines going up and down, and then I'm going to do sideways. And then I'm going to go a different way, right? And then I'm going to do some wavy lines, right? So I want everybody to do different lines as you can see them. These are all different lines. I've got some zigzags and some squiggly lines. I'm going to do some squiggly lines. And then I'm going to go zigzag. So this is what we mean when we say line. Ruby has joined the meeting. Okay. Is everybody drawing their lines? Have a look at the examples and see what you can come up with. Try and get be original with your lines. Uh, lines there. I like these ones. Okay. These alliances. So, I'd like to see what kinds of lines here. Yeah, when you're finished, you don't have to use mark. The only reason why I'm using is so that you guys can see it a little bit more clearly. I can't see the photo. Now, the reason why, Ruby, you can't see the photo is because, good girl, Un, very nice. The reason, Ruby, you can't see the photo is because you've got me on gallery. See where it says view up the top around here? See where it says view? Right? There's the word view up here at the very top. Right? Can you see it? You have to press it and then you have to press speaker. Okay, it can't be on gallery, it's got to be on speaker, and that way you'll be able to see me. All right, now let's continue. Everybody knows what color is, right? What's yeah. color? I want you to take some pencils, just about three or four pencils. I'm going to do them all together, right? Look at this. This is what color is to me. See how quickly I just put color down? You don't have to draw anything specific. Just get the colours down. You can do them one at a time, right? You can do them one at a time or you can do them all together like I did. It doesn't really matter. But everybody knows when I say colour, this is what we mean. We don't use a grey lead, okay? Don't use a grey lead for this section. You don't have to colour it all in. Just put some colour down. I don't care what you use and I don't care what colours you use, all right? Now, everyone should have crayons. Everyone should have, do not use paint, okay? Because we don't want this to be wet. So use any kind of marker, any kind of crayon, any kind of colored pencil, okay? I've used these three colored pencils. I just picked them out randomly. I didn't give them much thought. And then I just did my squiggly, squiggly lines. 
It doesn't matter what you do, but it says here color and that's what we're demonstrating, okay? All right, hurry up guys, because this is not the main part of the activity. Now shape, I know everybody knows what shape is. Everybody at school learns shapes. Who can write in the chat, please, some of the shapes that you know? Put some of the shapes that you know. Name them for me. What is this one? Square. Yes. Yeah. It is square. square. What about this one? What is this one called? Apple. What about this one? Over. Yeah. What about this one? Diamond. Diamond. Did somebody say diamond? Yes. What about this one? Rectangle. What about this one? Rectangle. That's right. Two of the same. It's the same shape, isn't it? Oh, somebody said triangle. That's my favourite one. I like a triangle. What about this one? Does anyone want know what that is? Crescent. Crescent. Good. It's not a half circle because it's not exactly half, is it? And what about this one? We're going to learn how to do these stars, actually. A star. That's exactly right. And what about this? What about this shape? Heart. Heart. Yeah. All right. Now, value. I want everyone to draw one, two, three. Four, How about a hexagon? Five. I want yeah. you to draw five squares. Yeah. Mine is a little bit lopsided. I think I make these ones a little bit small. Try and try and draw. One, two, three, four, five squares in a row. Can you do that? Let me write that. Let me do that in texter so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Because when I say texter, I mean marker guy. Get in Australia, we up when we mean marker. I don't know if you know yet, my older students, students, you know that already. What kind of pencil do you have? Who has got a 2B or a 4B pencil? Everybody needs to have a 4B or a 2B pencil. Uh, a 2B pencil. I've got a 2B. Like a ball. Let me just, I just want to get rid of some of these. I'm just trying to offload some of whatever's on my um, on my screen because I'm I think that's what's making it go laggy. All right, guys, let's continue. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to make the very first square really, really, really dark. I want you to press as hard as you can with your pencil. We're only using pencil. We are not using colored pencil, just a gray lead. Does everybody understand when I say gray lead? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, good. I want you to make this first one very, very dark. Now, try not to break your pencil, okay? Try not to break the lead. Right, the point, should I say, and make it as dark as possible because value talks about the dark and light of a color. Okay, the dark and light. So the first one is going to be very, very dark indeed. Okay, and now the next one is going to be just a little bit lighter. Can everybody see the difference between my two, my two, the two grades here? All right, so we have a dark. And then it just gets a little bit lighter. Can you see the difference? And as I move across, I get even lighter, right? I press less. So I'm not going to press so hard. And then it just gets lighter, right? 
And then this one is going to be even lighter. All right, so how many grades do I have? One, two, three, four, five grades. All right, now form is very close to value. Value is the light and dark of a color. And form, when we use that, I want everybody to draw a round circle. Okay, draw a round circle. Let me do it in marker. A nice little round circle, like a ball. All right, now what we're going to do in order to create the illusion of form is I'm going to draw the dark on the outside, right? Just that same dark that I used in this first square. I'm going to draw it very dark on the outside, on the edge, right? And as I move closer to the center, I'm going to press less and it's going to get lighter and lighter. Look at this. Look at this. Can everybody see? Can everybody see how as I'm moving to the center, I'm pressing less and less and less. And guess what this is gonna look like? It was a circle, but does anyone know what we call this when a shape becomes a form? Who knows what we call this now? What do we call this as it becomes form? A sphere. Yeah, who said that? Was that who said that? Me, my name is Victoria. Bye, Trang. Excellent. This is what we call a sphere, guys. Can everybody see how that looks very much like a sphere now? Because what I did is I applied. Good girl, Anne. Fantastic. Now I applied value. What did I do? I used value to create form, right? That looks like a real ball, doesn't it? Now space, are we all up to space now? Is everybody finished with those yes. two, with value and form? Yes. Good. Uh -oh. now, space. Now with space, the, whatever is large means that it's right in front of you, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to draw a big house, a nice big house from the top of that line to the bottom. And I just want you to draw a very basic house. Look how basic my house is. Not much went into that house, okay? So it's just very, very basic. Okay. See that? Right. Now, what I want you to do in the background, I want you to draw a line for the horizon line. Can you see that horizon line in the background? Yes. Now, I want you to draw about seven teeny little houses. Everybody see those really houses? Now, this is just one one side of space yeah this is only one aspect should i say of space so you don't have to do it perfect this a lot we know a lot more detail lay much about it okay now what's next everybody ready to move on no no. I keep forgetting to do, I have to do this in marker so better. I keep forgetting to do that in marker because I know that a pen, I draw in pencil, it's really hard for you to see that. Okay, so there's my horizon line in the background. All right, and then I just draw these little little tiny teeny houses and there you have it space this particular aspect of space shows how something is if something is closest to us it's bigger yeah so size plays a big role so the size and the detail as well notice how I've got windows on this one I've got windows and a 
and a chimney here as well. These are some details that you put when something's closer to you. But as you go further back, it becomes blurry. Yes, beautiful, Anne. Good girl. You guys can put your work up and show me your work if you want to. Now, we're going to move on to the next part. Now, can everybody see how I've got some coins here? Right? I've got some coins because I'm going to use texture. See texture? Now, I'm going to use this. This is, I think this is, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's ink, yeah? This is ink. I put this in my printer so that can I, I can photocopy things. Now, have you know, did you notice, well, you wouldn't notice, but this has got some kind of like grooves in it, yeah? If you touch it, it feels textury. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the coins and this so that I can create texture. But you can't do this with a marker. You have to use a pencil. So watch what happens now when I rub this pencil. Can you hear the noise it's making? See what happened? All that texture came up, right? I'm going to do the same with my coins, right? So you just want to use your coin. You want to put your your the point of your pencil sideways, right? You want to just do that. Now, what else can I use? I'm just looking around my room. Oh, I know. I can use something. Oh, if everybody has a look under their shoes, they'll see that there are some grooves under there. Hang on, let me just get my shoe. I know it's a little bit. It could be a little bit dirty if you wear your shoes, but I've got my shoes, my slippers. Can everybody see my slippers? I only wear these inside the house, so it's not really that dirty for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my shoe and then I'm going to do the rubbing technique. Can everybody Hi, see teacher. these grooves? Can everybody see what's come up on my page? Hi, teacher. Yes. Because I'm using... Because I'm using a thick paper from an A3 cut half into an A4, so I can't do the texture, and I don't have anything that has texture here. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I know your paper's really, you've used really, really good paper. Okay. I understand that, Bon. Thanks. Sorry, honey. I'm sorry you can't do this activity. Never mind. What you can do is just do some crisscrosses like this. Do some crisscrosses like this. And like this, okay, that, that texture also, okay. Now, this particular way of texture is the really also easy. Don't have. Sorry, tr sorry, Tran Me, what did you say? I also don't have the things. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to just do something like this. Can you see this crisscross? So, just do some crisscrosses. Okay, we're going to, when we do um, our lesson in texture, that's when I'm going to, um, I'm going to talk about it more. Now, this is what we are going to learn for the art element. Again, yes, again, because we are going to take it to the next level. When I say, it, when I say we're going to take it to the next level, what do you think I mean by that? Make it harder. We'll learn more about each teacher. Yep. We're going to learn even more things about these. We are we already covered them in our first 10-week course. Yeah, Alice, that looks amazing. Good girl. You found some coins. Who else used something else other than coins? Good Chloe. Good Shay. Hey, Shay, are you in Melbourne? Yes. Cool. Yes. Are you Australian? Um, partly, yes. Oh, wow. That's really Vietnamese. That's so cool. We're in the same city. I didn't realise that I had people from Melbourne here. All right. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, guys, let's move on to our first activity. I want everyone to grab a, another piece of paper. All right. I want you to grab another piece of paper. It has to be A4. 
Now, do you remember we watched the video about the, um, now can everybody please have a look at what I'm about to post in the chat? Because, Okay, so this is what we're going to do now, guys, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. If you watch the videos, put your hand up if you watch the video. Everybody must watch the videos. How come some of you are not putting your hand up? Ben, did you watch the videos? What about you, Tina? Did you watch the videos? Yes. No. Oh, my God. Yes. Darling, you need to watch them because it just makes things so much easier, Tina. Okay? You really have to watch them. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a squiggly line. Is everybody watching? Teacher. Yes. Did we take the A4 paper? Yes, we did. This is A4. Remember what I said? My hand looks big against an A4. But if I use A3, look how look how small my hand looks against an A A3. You see that? This is A3. But okay. this one is A4. How about this one? So A4 page. Now. I want everyone to do a squiggly line, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. How many lumps? How many lumps do I want? One, one, two, three. Okay, so I've got lumps, one, two, three. And then I've got one, two, three, four, almost four. Okay, we'll do that one that goes up like that. Okay, now everybody must use a pencil just in case you make a mistake. Oh no, I just ripped my page. Oh, how annoying. Did you see I just ripped my page? Now, right? Now, the first thing I want you to do as soon as you finish that, okay, we are going to take this and we're going to do a line that goes up. And I'm going to go always from the side. Let me do this in marker because I know that you can't see it. All right, and then I'm going to keep going up and up and up. Can everybody see what I'm doing? All right. Okay, now this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do it for the lumps first, yeah? The lumps. You see these lumps? Now, these ones here, Because I just got it. Who spoke to me just now? Me. Who? Speak again. Chloe. Chloe, darling, why are you late? Oh no, I just logged off. You just logged on? No. I already logged on, but but then it just turned off. Oh, it turned off. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I've got a photo. Let me put the photo back on because I know that when you log off, 
you don't get to see what's in the chat. So let me share. Can everybody hear me? Okay? Or can you hear me quite clearly? So, Chloe. Yeah. What? Control V. No, it's not coming up. Look how many I've got. I've got one, two, three. Look how many I've got. Can you see? I've yeah. got a few of them, right? No. Teacher, I can see. Yeah, I don't know what's happening to my um. No, no, uh, I can see all of your paper. Yeah, there's something happening to my computer. You need to touch your paper. This one. Okay. Um, put it a little bit down. A little, uh, a little bit of the. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. The left. Okay, so this is for Chloe, who accidentally logged off. Can you see what I've just um, what I've just shared in the chat? Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the other one I'm going to share is, oh my God, yes. I'm so laggy. I'm going to share this one as well so that everybody can see what we are, we are going to do today. Okay. Okay, make sure that you mute yourselves so that we don't have to hear you singing or chatting. So can everybody see what I'm doing? They're like half circles, right? They're like half circles. Now we have to do this on the other side. Now whoever, whoever watched the video will know how to do this. That's why it's very important that you watch the videos. Now I'm going to turn this page over so that I can do the other side. It just makes it a little bit easier, okay? So I'm going to do the same. And you can do them all sorts of ways, yeah? You can do them large or you can do them small. I'm going to go large here. I'm going to do those other ones small. So just make them make them a little bit different in, in sizes, yeah? It doesn't have to be all the same. Give me the easy part, okay? Okay, sort of uniform, but can everybody see the picture? Some are really big and some are really small. Yeah. A bit similar. I kind of didn't want to do. Now, what I want you to do is I want everyone to have a yellow, orange, and red color. Yellow, orange, and red. Okay. 
So what I want you to do is I want you to choose one. Okay, can everybody see my wiggly fingers? Can yes. everybody see my wiggly fingers? Wait, one. Right? So I want you to choose one of these. Yep. Squeaky chair. Yes. I just have to finish this. So I think I just do this first and I put this down here for homework teacher. Uh, okay, yep. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, can everybody, can everybody see the picture in the chat? The end result. What I want you to do is I want you to choose one, two, three. Can you use oil, oil pastels? Yeah, I guess you can. I guess you can. You're not going to get the same effect though, Linda. I'm afraid you're not going to get the same effect because with oils, you kind of need to go darker on the sides. Okay, let me start. Let me start doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one. That's not very dark. Another darker red, right? So I'm going to go really, really dark on the sides, and then as I move closer to the center, I'm going to press less, and it's going to get much, much lighter in the middle. And I'm going to do the same here. So on the sides, it's going to I'm going to press really, really hard so it's dark, and as I move closer to the center, it's going to be much, much lighter. Now, what we've done here is we've incorporated some value, which means the light and the dark of a color. Remember what we said about value? Who remembers what value means? Remember, we talked about that not only last in the last course, right? We talked about that just minutes ago. All right, can everybody see what I've done? Now I'm using red. Now I'm going to change color and I'm going to go to orange. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go really, really dark on the sides. And as I move closer to that curve, the bump, yeah, I'm going to go really, really light. So on the sides, really dark. And then closer. I'm going to move into the center and go light. You guys, you old students of mine, you guys know how to do this. We've had plenty of practice doing this. Could I? Right? I used to have art class painting. Did you? Did you? Did you now? But excellent. Now this is my last color. Yeah, this is the yellow again. I'm going to use only three colors in this one. Now what I want you to do is I want you to do. I want you to keep with that theme all the way through. Okay, so. What am I going to do here? I'm going to do red. Okay, start from red again. You have to make it a gradual. I want everybody to have a good look, right? Can everybody see how I just move gradually, right? It gradually moves to from dark to light, all right? So these are the three colours that I've chosen for this one, for this squiggly wiggly, okay? That's what I'm going to call them, a squiggly wiggly. Okay, now... I'm going to do that for the whole one. What colour am I going to do this one, do you think? What's uh, this colour? Orange. No. Yellow? No. Yep. White? Um, Yellow. Actually, I think I had to go, yep. I have to go yellow here. That's right, yellow. Let me just do this line here. I went to the art gallery today. 
And I was thinking about all the art elements. I kept looking at these beautiful artworks and I just wished that you guys could see what I was looking at. I was looking at all the colour and all the line and all the value and all the space well, look, in the look. picture. It was Don't amazing. Look. I told you to not look. Hi, beautiful neck. Okay. All right. Now, guys, the trick is, right, the trick is to go really dark on the sides. And as you move closer to the center, you have to go much, much lighter. So can everybody understand when I say that? You're going yes. to go from dark to light. And this is what we call value. So we're kind of doing two things at once. We're using value and line. So we're using line to sort of tell us, to give us the illusion, yeah? It actually, we're creating some kind of an illusion with line because we've got the curvy lines and then we're using another illusion with our value. Okay. Teacher, yes. What time it is in your country? Uh it's seven twenty-seven right now. Oh my! It's I'm, evening. I'm four twenty-seven. Seven twenty-seven at night p.m. At night. Yeah. The time at our place is. I think it's 327 there. Is that right? No, it's 328. It's 328. Yeah. But soon we're going to have a difference because we've got daylight saving coming up. I will not have time to finish this thing. No, we won't have time to finish this. We're going to move over to our next activity soon but i want you to finish at least one line okay now as soon as you finish one line what i want you to do wait let me just finish mine now yeah it's tired it's tiring but you know at the end when you finish it's worth it though it's then you can tired practice. for something nice that you can then yeah. you can be practicing like you yeah, are in, in, in your then. house everybody can enjoy your work who's not Somebody said something, but I to them. You said something. Can you listen to me? Okay. Can everybody see the colors that were used in that drawing in the chat? Now, I want you to look at the one with the purple. What other colors are in there? Purple, something, and pink. Can anyone, can anyone see what colors they are? Is it? Two purples and one pink? Or is it purple, bl blue and pink? I think it's purple, blue and pink. Okay, you don't have to use those colours if you don't want to, but you can, okay? So I'm going to, what am I going to use? 
Um, uh, Mr. actually two, like one is two purples and one pink, and one is two, one purple, one blue, and one pink. They have both of them. Yeah, I think it's blue, purple, and pink. Yeah. So I'm going to take my blue, my purple, and my got two purples. I want to, and my pink. Okay. So I'm going to do the one next to it. Okay. Mm, which one should I do on this side? Right. So I'm going to start with my pink on the side. Remember what we said? We have to press really hard in the sides. And as we get closer to the center, we have to go really, really light and not, not press at all or just leave it completely blank. Okay. Remember what we did with the sphere? Remember we did this activity just not long ago? Can you see how in the center I just left it completely blank? That's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to go every three with pink. This is another way of doing it. Can everybody see what I'm doing? So I did pink yeah. here. And then I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to do pink again. So I don't have to always change my pencils. So I don't need to take put my pencil down, pick up another pencil, because it kind of gets a little bit tiring, doesn't it, doing that all the time. So I'm just going to do every three, I'm going to do my pink one. Okay. Now, don't lose those colors. Don't put them all back because you're going to, we're going to use some more of this color. Yeah, you know, the red, yellow, and, and orange, we're going to do more of that color. Miss right. Vicky? Yeah? Can we do any colors? Yes, you can do any color you like. I'm just using the examples in the uh, photo in our chat. Okay. You guys can be very creative and be very original too. So we just need basically three colors, three and no more, right? Because we want a pattern and we're going to reuse those. Can you, can everybody see that we've used the purple, um, the purple, blue and pink? We've used it like three times in the photo. So we're going to use it as well here. All right, one, two, three. All right, I'm nearly finished this with all the pink. And now I'm going to go for my blue. Okay, I'm going to start here with my blue. Remember what we said, dark on the sides. And as we move closer to the center, we go light. And make sure that you don't put any color in the middle, right in the center. All right, we want it to be as light as possible. I don't know what quality pencils you guys have, but my pencils are very good. They're Faber Castell. Faber Castell are quite expensive, but they're cheaper ones too. But they're very, very good quality. Like you don't have to press too hard and just the color just comes off. Okay. Um, Sharpen. Now, the reason why I don't want you to guys to, to use um, oil pastels is that I've got a feeling that you won't be able to get the, 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 the tone, the, the light and shade, the value scale. So what makes this interesting is the value, yeah, which means the dark and the light of the colour. And I'm not sure that you can get that effect with oil pastels, Okay. So that's why I think colored pencils are probably the best way to go. Crayons might do the job. Crayons might do the job. I haven't tried it with oil pastels. Maybe. Maybe. All right, now I'm ready for so, my purple. I think you're so fast. I know I'm fast because I have to be, but you guys are going to finish this at home, okay? 
You have a whole week to do this at home, and then I want you to. Oh, well, at the home? Yep, yeah, you're going to do the rest at home, but make sure that you post it in. Where are you going to post your work, guys? Yeah. In Zello, because I want to see your work. My work's not very good here. Not good? Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that just now? All right. You okay? Today. You really can't be in a hurry when you do this, you know. You have to have a lot of patience when you do want to do good artwork, by the way. You can't expect to do good work but quickly. So just try and take your time. Make sure you have a lot of time in front. Ooh, and that's great. I love it. Now make sure you go from dark to light. Look at mine. Can you see how mine's going from light to dark? Yeah? You've got to make sure that it's a gradual change from dark to light. You can't just make it change suddenly. And that takes a lot of skill, a lot of practice to do that. Okay, so those people today that did not watch the video, I want you to go and watch this video, okay? There are two videos that I sent you for this activity today, right? I want you to please, today, if you've got nothing else to do for the rest of the day, I want you to watch those two videos. Yes? Put your thumbs up if you understand me. Yeah? So please watch those two videos it's just going to make things a lot easier it's going to make things a lot easier for you trust me on what i'm saying okay now i'm going to one two how many different colors are they using in this example have a look at the picture how many different i've got this combination and then i've got this combination right so I've got two combinations, this one and this one, correct? Now, what other combinations am I going to do here, right? What does it say? <laughs> My fingers are broken. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You guys can take a break. When you're doing this at home, you guys can take a break, all right? We're going to move over to another activity now. But what's my next move here before I move on? I'm going to choose another one, two, and three colors. Okay, these are my next three colors. I'll show you what they look like. So there's a light green, right? The light green, and then there's going to be. Oh, my yellow just broke. I'll use this one. My yellow, right? And my blue, light blue. Light 
okay so once you have got all the colors the color combinations the three colors together and then you repeat them okay now everybody can see the picture in the um in the in the chat um linda i guess you can use oil but my concern is that it's not going to create that shading technique okay that's my only concern so i would probably say try to steer away from oil paints just go with the the um, colored pencils or crayons the crayons are a little bit better than oils oils are just give off too much color and you don't really get that shading that shadiness all right now stop what you're doing we are going to go over to another activity now with paint has everybody got their paints with them have you got paints? Yes? Good. Now, I'm going to finish this at home and I'll probably put it on Zoom, not Zoom, Zello, okay? I've got all my colours here. I don't need all, any other colour. I'm going to put all my other colours away. I'm going to, all right, and then I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to put it up on Zello, all right? Now, next activity. All right, I'm going to take that photo again. Come on, why isn't this working? Oh. Hi, teacher. Yeah. We need this activity. We need an A4 oh, or is. A3. Say that again, honey. This um, activity, we time. need A4 or A3. A4. A4, small one. Um, teacher. One next now. Two. Everybody have a look at the chat. Look at the picture that I've just put up. Okay. Have a look. Can everybody see that? We need That's a compass it. and we need blue paint. And we need a ruler and a pencil. All right. A ruler, a pencil. Now, piece of paper. Now, you probably will need good paper. When I say good paper, I mean the good paper that you can use so this is my a this is my a3 but i'm going to cut this in half because i don't have oh actually i do have one i do have a good a3 so this is a good a3 paper when i say good i mean for acrylic paint yeah it's very thick i'm going to take it from this book can you can you see what i'm doing i'm actually going to tear it out because it's really thick. It's thick paper. It's not as thin as the other because I'm going to use paint on it. All right. We only have 15 minutes left, so we need to rush. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is grab my ruler and a pencil. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw. Uh, can everybody please grab their compasses? Have you got a compass? Yep. I want you to open up your compass to Hey teacher. Yeah. What is that? A compass? No, is it A4 or A3? This paint, what do you think it is? Look at my hand. What do you think it looks like? 
I can't see your what? head, but it is on. Um, what do you I think? My okay, door. look at it now. Look at it now. What does that look like? A four. Yep, it's A4. Now, the other page is my hand gets lost in it, yeah? So I want everybody to grab a compass and have it at five centimetres. So take your compass and hold it up. You have to put the point or the, the pencil Vicky, from zero. Vicky, what's a compass? Teacher. There's my... Teacher. Yes. We take, uh, we take an A4 paper or an, an A4. A3 paper. A4, darling. A4. Small paper, but it has to be good paper. Yeah, it has to be thick. Yes. Now, that's fine. And open up your compasses to five hey, centimeters. Can everybody see how I'm using my compass and I'm holding it from zero to number five? Miss Vicky, okay. can I use this? Say again. Miss Vicky, can I use this? Yes. Absolutely, Shay. Now, I want you to locate the center of your page and I want you to draw a nice round circle. With five centimeters. All right, a nice round circle. Now, you guys There's can't really see what point. I've done. So I'm going to go over it with text with a marker. Please don't do the same. You don't have to do this with a marker. I'm only doing it so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to go over it with text just so that you guys can see it better. But don't do it. You don't need to do it. You only have to use pencil. Now, this is what we call op art. In other words, optical art. It Actually, it's, it's very uh, deceiving. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to... Here on the side, I want you to go every three centimetres, okay? So here on the side, I want you to put a point for every three centimetres. So one, three. Who can count by threes, by the way? Who can count by threes? Three, what's the next one? Six. Six. What's the next one after six? Nine. 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 So I'm going to start again. Zero. We start from zero. 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 Three. Six. Nine. Well. Fifteen and eighteen. Okay. And I want you to do the same on this side, but make sure they're the same length. So here I started. Yes, you have to draw the circle first. Okay, now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put a dot where it says three, every three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. And then I'm going to draw a line across, but I'm not going to go over the circle. Okay, I'm going to go around the circle. I'm going to avoid going through the circle. Can everybody see what I'm doing here? So I'm going to draw a line, but I'm not going to go through the circle, okay? I don't know if you can see my pencil. I might have to get another marker. My markers are not very good, are they? Teacher. Yes. How many centimeters of the circle? Three. The, the circle was five centimeters. Five. Ten. Five centimeters. Okay. Yeah, five. And you put it somewhere in the middle, and then you just draw lines like this. Bye. Teacher, three centimeters each. Three centimeters, that's right. So you make sure that you put three centimeters on this side of the page here, every three centimeters here, and every three centimeters here. So these lines can be straight. If the lines are not straight, it's not going to work. 
Okay. Now, if everybody watched the video, they would be uh, they would understand more clearly what I'm trying to do here. Okay. It's very very much the videos that I give you. Please make the time to watch them. Okay. So far, can everybody see what I've got? Let me just hold myself up there. Okay, so I've got this going on. Now I'm going to turn my page around and I'm going to do another three centimeters. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw dots from the edge every three centimeters. So dot, dot, six, three, six. What's the next one? Nine, 12, 15. 18, 21, 24, 27. So can everybody see those dots just there? That's counting in threes, right? Three, six, nine, 12, and off it goes. Every three. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to draw little dots because then I have to line up. Six, nine, twelve, eight, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the line. Actually, you know, I feel these really bother me. So what I do is I cut them off. These little um, the the, the um, I don't know what do you call this? The margin. Yeah, I take this off. I don't need that. I'll throw that in the bin. Okay, and now I'm ready to draw the line across my three centimetre line. Okay, one, two. Make sure that you do not go through your circle. Do not go through your circle. You have to stop when you come to the circle, stop, and then continue this way. Yep. So now you've got something like a grid, yes? Can everybody see that they've got a grid? We haven't touched the circle. The circle should be completely blank. Oh, um, I I wasn't holding my my mark my uh, ruler down hard enough. Okay, so can everybody see what's going on here? Yes. All right. Now I'm going to take my pencil, okay? I'm going to take my pencil and can everybody see how, okay, this, I'm just going to do that for that one, but can everybody see how I'm going to go around? So this particular line is going to go curvy. Right, and this one is going to go curvy the other way. Right, and this one's going to go curvy this way. Right, and then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go curvy on one side. Now I'm going to do this in pencil because sometimes my curves are not going to be perfect. Right, this one is going to go this way and this way All right can everybody see now what i've done i've got curves they are not going to be straight lines they're going to be curvy lines have a look at my chat have a look at how the drawing looks All right and now i'm going to go over those in texas so that you can see them in marker so that you guys can see them a little bit better
không ạ? Đó là chúng ta đúng cái đường này Các bạn đúng cái đường này, đến cái đường này không con? Ok Mà nối cái này Now, Nối cái này không? I want everyone Giữ này không? Con nối con không Mà đường này Cả hai cái này, mẹ đã mẹ đã làm cho con đúng đường này Mẹ làm đúng ở cái đường này Nối với đúng cái đường này Con bỏ đi của mẹ và con làm đúng cái đường này Somebody's not muted them Somebody's not muted themselves. Chloe, is that you, darling? You got to yourself if your parents are going to be talking in the background. We know you don't need to hear that, honey. Okay, I want everyone to grab a blue, a blue pencil. I had a blue pencil earlier and I want you to, okay, I'm going to get rid of whatever. All right. I'm going to use crayon. Yeah, I want you to draw a little bit of blue on the outside, right, only on one side on the outside. So I want you to do like the shading part. Can everybody see what I'm doing? So just on one side, okay? Just on half, it doesn't matter which half it is. So I want you to go dark where it's closest to the circle, right? We don't need to go all the way around, just around half the circle, okay? And that's just going to give it the impression that it's lifted, yeah? Now, everybody needs some paint now. Let me just grab my paint. What color, teacher? I'm going to use blue. Hey, teacher, we need what color? Blue, 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 blue. So I've used a blue pencil, right? I've used a blue pencil to color around the edges. See what I've done there? I might actually just give it a bit of a, like a, okay, like a smudge. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blue. Where's my... Where did my... Oh. Okay, I bought some new paintbrushes. Take my paintbrush. I'm only going to use blue now. Now I know it's the end of our lesson. Is it the end of our lesson? Hey, yeah, it's the end of our lesson. But you, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do and then you guys can continue. So I want you to know that we are going to paint every other one. Okay? Every other one. So this I'm going to paint blue, right? Now I'm going to paint this one. No, okay, the one next to it is not the one you're going to paint. You're always going to paint the one that is diagonally next to it, okay, that is attached to it with a point. All right, so that's one. All right, make sure that you smooth out, you smooth out the color. And I'm going to do this one now. All right, can everybody see what I'm doing? And you just need to alternate. It's like the has everybody played checkers? Hey teacher. Yeah. I just have a light blue. That's fine. Light blue is fine. It doesn't have to be blue. It can do it could be any other color. All right. Now I'm not going to do this one, but I am going to do this one. So you need to know which ones to paint and which ones not. 
Can we yeah. use color crayons? So you need to other one like, like back kiss. Oh, you don't have. okay you can use crayons I suppose paint is a lot more fun okay paint is a lot more fun it's a lot quicker I as well this takes more long and more time and more things than to do This activity is giving us the optical illusion that the ball is actually three-dimensional, okay, because we have curved the lines. So this is an activity about line and how it can give us the illusion, right? It gives us the impression that something else is going on, but really it's just a flat surface, okay? So can everybody see how my picture here, right, is starting to come together and it's starting to look like, like this sphere. Well, it's starting to look like it's a sphere, basically. Of course, nobody needs to use blue. You can use any other color. And I really do suggest you use paint because with paint, it's going to be much much quicker okay mm -hmm. so it's a bit like checkers yeah has everyone has anyone played checkers or chess chess the chess game one's black one's white so here we've got one blue and one white how's it all going guys yeah. how's it all going yeah can you hold up your work so i can see what you're doing yeah. yes can I use yellow? Instead of blue? Yeah. You can, but yellow is really hard to see. Yellow on white paper is really difficult to see. I suggest you use, if you want to use another colour other, other than blue, I suggest you use red or orange. Yeah, I think they're better colours, darling. Okay. I think they're better colours. Yellow is really difficult to see. It's too bright for the eye and you can't really see that colour. All right, so this is about the end of our lesson. I'm sorry it took me a little while to get on today. It was just, um, had a few things that I had to prepare. But it's okay. Okay, we got through the day. And I really want to see your artwork, guys. So please put it on the Zello group chat. Okay, put it, your work on there so I can see your work and I can make a comment if I feel like it needs to be improved or adjusted or it's perfect. And I just want to say how beautiful it is. That's what I'm going to do on Zello. Okay, so I know that we don't always get to finish our artwork in the class, and that's okay. You guys can take it home. It's not really home homework is it because it's so much fun don't you agree it's so much fun yes no it's 
to be paint. Hope you do. And I'm assuming you are because you're here, right? Yeah. Yeah. You must love art if you're here. So can everybody see the picture here that I've done? Yes. Yeah. All right. So this is what you need to do. You need to just do every other one. So it looks like a check a checkboard, a, a, a chess game board, a chess board. And so the whole point of this activity is to show that line, when it's curved like that, it gives us the impression that something is three-dimensional, okay? We have straight lines and then we have the optical illusion, okay? That's the optical illusion. Now here, I'm going to go a little bit darker. I feel as though I need to go a little bit darker. And here. And here. Now, the next time I see you guys, I'm looking at my program and I see that the next time we are doing colour, okay? We are doing colour in the next, in your next week, all right? So make sure you watch the videos, make sure that you take all the photocopies that I've given you. You need to photocopy the stuff that I've given you and all the materials, of course, yeah? And, of course, watch the videos. Everybody needs to watch the videos because otherwise it just makes things a lot harder. You won't get it and you ask too many questions and you'll hold yourself up and you probably lag behind. So it's just so much more convenient and easier for everybody if everybody watches the videos. For those, I'm going to remind you again, for those of you who did not watch the videos, please take a moment to watch those now. They're not very long. I think they're about five or ten minutes long. Teacher. Yes. I don't have paint. Can I use my crayon? For what? For, yes, to do this? Yes. Yes, of course, yes. Yes, you can use this, your crayons. Can I use light blue? Yes, you can use light blue. Light blue is perfectly fine. You can use any color. I don't think you should use yellow, though. I think yellow is a really difficult color when you when you use it on white on white um, paper. Yellow doesn't really come up because it's already a very light color, isn't it? And light on light just doesn't show up. So use any other color. Use purple. You can use brown. You can use black.
All right, children, that's the end of our lesson. I want everyone to hold up their work so I can see what you've done so far. Show me what you've done so far. Oh, you haven't started coloring, Tina. Yeah, you haven't started coloring. Oh, that's a great Shay. Hold it up. Teacher, and I what? did it, but my paper flew up somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Tra, go and find your paper, please. Now, now, Alexis, your circle is too small, honey. How come it's so small? Lena, that's absolutely Peter, fantastic. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Ooh, Elsa, that's fantastic. Fantastic, Anne. Now, guys, some of your some of your work is a little bit small. Some of your circles are way too small. When I said five centimeters, okay, I meant that you open up your compass from zero Miss Vicky, I still can't find it. Honey, I can't help you, Tra. You just have to maybe went under the chair. Okay, so five centimeters and you put it in the middle and then you draw a circle. So some of your circles are a little bit small. I don't know how it got that small, guys. You need to listen to the instructions. Let me see, Alice. Alice, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, some people on, um, what do you call it? I'm going to put some people on um, spot, spotlight. Spotlight? I'm going to put you on spotlight. Oh, my internet is just so bad today. Uh, you know what? I've got a feeling it's this bad because there's so many people on today. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Crazy. It's just every button I press, it just takes a long time to think about and generate like the next move. Okay, so we've got two projects that we started today. We've got this one. It's not it's not even coming up. Right, we've got this one that you you need to finish, and we've got this one right? The optical illusion. All right, kids. Wow, that's awesome. Who just posted their work? It looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> that was mine. Thanks. Uh, um, thanks, Dorothy. You posted my artwork. All right, kids, you have a good week and I will see you next Saturday. Do next Saturday, look at the handouts. You need to look at the videos, okay? The materials that you'll need. All right? Hey. Okay. It's, that's it for today. Bye, everybody. Bye, teacher. Internet is Bye. terrible. Bye, teacher. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Be sure to finish your work Bye. and put it on Zoho. See ya. Bye. Bye, kids. Bye. See ya. Bye, everyone. Now, if your name is in the afternoon, teacher. You yes. Are nice. It's to me. It's night time. It's eight fifteen. It's the five fifteen. It's eight fifteen for me as so I'm in Sydney. Okay. All right. Eight o'clock is when we normally finish. It's eight fifteen. See you later, everyone. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, Vicky. Bye, All good? Man. Yes? Vicky, finish. Everyone enjoy. So please send your artwork, all right?
Okay, bye 